Mazda CX-5 Review, the most comfortable SUV to drive. It was November 2016 when the second-generation Mazda CX-5 was presented at the Los Angeles Auto Show, and seven years later, the midsize SUV from the Japanese manufacturer has received an upgrade thanks to updates that present new features that are attractive not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but also from a technical and substantive standpoint. Exterior. For some time, the Mazda CX-5 represented the manufacturer's premium drive, but now, with the arrival of the larger CX-60, it has been moved to the middle of the list. Measuring 4.57 meters long, 1.84 meters wide and 1.68 meters high, this model remains focused on the dynamic and sometimes sporty styling that has defined its success over the years. With the changes made, the shape and proportions remain unchanged, the front section stands out with a large grille with the Mazda logo in the center, the ultra-slim LED light clusters, while the new headlamps take center stage at the rear, the new headlamps are equipped with a distinctive new lamp. Interiors. The most exciting new features of the 2023 Mazda CX-5 model year are hidden in the cabin, in general, the interior style remains the same as usual, but now there are some new elements. This includes a wireless charging system for phones at the bottom of the dashboard, as well as a USB Type-C connector under the center armrest. There have also been updates on the tech side, visible in the updated infotainment system, which is now compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay protocols even in wireless mode. Another novelty is the debut of touch-sensitive controls for the infotainment system, however, these controls are only for controlling functions related to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. To control all other system functions, such as radio and sat-nav, you still have to use the knob located on the center tunnel.
driving experience. The mid-career overhaul of the Mazda CX-5 also presented the debut of a mild hybrid system for the petrol unit on the list. Therefore, when I first encountered this car, I decided to drive the most powerful petrol version 2.5 with 194 horsepower and 263 newton meters. This unit is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission that sends power to all four wheels. The engine's thrust is very progressive, but like any car that breathes well, it's only at the top end of the revs that the real performance emerges, although the six-speed automatic is a little slow to get going, with speed. The base assembly is very good. The suspension part can rely on the McPherson arrangement at the front and multi-link. The suspension is a bit stiff which makes this model very precise in corners, but still provides good absorption for comfort. In this regard, the level of sound insulation is also good, the consumption is quite good, like all naturally aspirated engines, the Mazda 2.5 has a very high revs tendency, which inevitably affects the engine's thirst for gasoline. I drive the CX-5 at about 100 km per hour behind the wheel and the average fuel consumption is 8 liters for 100 km. Sales of the Mazda CX-5. Despite all these years, the Mazda CX-5 is still the Japanese manufacturer's best-selling model worldwide. Since the release of the first generation in 2012, around 4 million units have been sold worldwide. In all of this, Europe has played and will continue to play a critical role in achieving this result. In 2022 alone, 365,135 CX-5s were sold across Europe, representing 26% of Mazda's total sales on the continent. Mazda CX-5 Price The most powerful gasoline version of the Mazda CX-5 is available in a three-package and exclusive line, Homura and Takumi, with a starting price of €46,050 or around 747 million Indonesian rupiah, 
while the 150 bhp 2.2 diesel starts from 38,700 euros or around 628 million Indonesian rupiah and goes up to 47,150 euros or around 75 million Indonesian rupiah to 184 million Indonesian rupiah for the HP variant. Tell me why you left me bleeding